This workshop will challenge your students to design, build and even modify their own rubber band car. The car that travels the furthest and remains intact will be declared the winner. This make will teach students about momentum, inertia and energy transformation and how these concepts will impact their final designs. We encourage teams to be creative with their final designs using their materials and these materials will be This challenge will take no longer than two hours and for guidance you'll find breakdowns within the toolkit. There are recommended warm-up activities available which will introduce your teams to key concepts they'll need within the challenge. The worksheets will provide everything the student needs to get started and as a facilitator you can circulate the room and give help wherever needed. When teams have completed their builds it's time to put them to the test, log their results and announce the champion. Use the quiz and discussion points provided to wrap up the session and reiterate what's been learned. Find out some more information, including some handy top tips. Visit the download link situated in the teaching section of your toolkit. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try and make a card just like this. And then once we've made it, there might be some things that the students can actually uh, change and, 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 and improve upon. The first thing we're going to do is make the sides of the car. So for that, we're going to need three lollipop sticks and some rubber bands. So then we're going to go round here three times and again here. And then to get it to work, we need the middle layer and the bottom layer to be spread out like that. From there, once you've got um, four of these, we're going to then turn them into a side. So we're going to use the two pegs facing away from one another, like so. And then we're going to put this on top and then two rubber bands to hold that in place. So it should look something like this when you're finished. And then we can make a second one and that's the beginnings of the chassis for our car. From there, we're going to connect these two together we can actually slot a lollipop stick between the two teeth of the clothes peg and do the same on the other side. So what I've done here is connected the two sides of the car using the clothes peg. The next thing to do is use the, uh, the cotton reels and put them in either side. And then we're going to fix these cotton reels using rubber bands. Uh, and as you can see, we've now fixed the cotton reels to the chassis. So when we wind the car up, the rubber band is going to pull these two together. So what we're going to want is the two closed pegs to actually touch one another. Uh, in the middle there, which is what we've got here. So once you've got to here, you might want to put a few extra rubber bands on it to make sure it's as strong as can be and to customise it. And you could even make it a little bit longer, wider, thicker, anything you like. But here's a version that we've made. Uh, and as you can see, I've put a, a few more strengtheners around here, here and, and, and across here. So the next thing to do is take your wheels. Uh, so from here, we're going to slide this through the cotton reels. So if you find these holes are a little bit too soft, you can always use masking tape or white tack uh, to make sure that the wheels stick firmly to the dowel. And from here, we're going to just put this up upright and push down. So that should give a firm fit. And secondly, we're going to go through here again and do the same on the front. So the very last thing to do is add the elastic band. What we found is that three bands is, is often a, a good strength, but again, the students are going to want to uh, test out the different versions and different strengths for them. If you have three in each hand, taking them like this, you can make a loop and get them to a point where they're connected. 
We're going to do that one more time. Here we've got three more. And we're going to chain these together. Like this. So the final thing is to attach them. I found a little bit of white tack on the front. It's helpful. So on this rear lollipop stick, we're going to attach the final rubber band. So that's going to go around like this and again loop through itself. And then from there, you should be able to attach that to the front and then winding it back as much as you like. You'll see, firstly, you'll see it's spinning and moving. So the very last thing we need to do is actually add some grip uh, and make some friction on these wheels here. And for that, we're gonna need white tack. So the best thing we've found is to take a little bit of white tack like this, stretch it out, and then it needs to go on the wheels like this. And this will give it extra friction. So what I'm doing now is putting the white tack on both the back tires to give it a little bit extra grip. Okay, so let's see the difference that makes when we give it a second go. So again, winding it up. So as you can see, that makes it go a lot faster. When the teams are customizing their cars, make sure they think about the rubber bands, how many they can use, the grip and the friction, how to make it as frictionless as possible. All right, I'm off to go and mend my car. Have a great session.